All right, you're back, amazing hacker. So first of all, I'm going to explain you properly what an XXC attack basically is. I'm going to do this by drawing. I don't know. I know that I don't draw the best drawings ever, but stick with me here. So we have our actor. This is Carl. Now Carl is going to make a request to a web server via the internet. So we'll draw a little bit of a bad cloud here. This is supposed to be the internet. Let's draw that in here. Let me, there we go, internet. And we also have our actor Carl here and he's going to make a request to a web server. Now, oh, sorry, wrong button there, to a web server and let's draw that as well let's make a pretty bad drawing of a server there we go that's our web server and carl is going to make a request to it now he's going to make the request to the internet going to go to the web server and when we talk about xml external entities sometimes it's possible that carl's request is going to consist of an xml so in here, we might be able to find XML values like this, XML, uh, your root document, and then you have a node, for example, uh, first name, uh, let's add a last name as well, last name, I'm going to move this over soon, last name, there we go, and that might be a request that Carl is making as well, of course. Um, and this basically means that we're doing an XML request to our server. Now, I know that these are not as prevalent as they used to be, but stick with me here because we're going to learn a lot of new techniques that are really, really cool. Now, what's going to happen is that there's going to be, there has to be some kind of XML processor. So let's draw a little bit of text here. XML processor here, which will take in if i can type processor which will take in that xml file that carl sent to us uh, now the one thing that a lot of developers seem to forget is that by default external entities are turned on by these xml processors so let's draw a little bit of an xml processor here there we go this can be our xml processor now this is going to also enable XML external entities in some cases. Now, what that basically means is that whenever Carl asks for an entity, can be a file, for example, again, and Carl puts that in his XML file, this XML processor might grab that for him. This also means that since we are in here in the internal network, this is not external anymore, that we might be able to force some SSRF behavior and actually go and grab some other servers that we weren't able to access before. Now, this can be pretty useful because if we have another server here, for example, and we call this server the, let's call it the administration server. Now, this server is going to have a get request to the admin panel, but the admin request is only accessible from inside of this network. Uh, what that is going to mean is that if I want to go to the admin panel, I have to have VPN connection. Or does it? Now, what's really, really cool about this is I told you guys about that blind XXC attack, which is going to basically mean that I have my own web server as well. I'm going to draw that outside of the network so, because this is Carl's web server, of course. This is going to be Carl server and we're going to basically if we do blind as uh, xxc attacks what's going to happen is that specific uh, xml processor is going to make a request to our server back and if we check the logs we know that we have a blind process xxc attack now we can also change that into an ssrf attack by just making that request go to the admin panel. And if this is not blind XXC, then we might get a response and we might be able to access the admin panel. 
And if the administrator has been so arrogant as to think that this is unhackable, or if you just set a raw, a very easy password, maybe not even a password at all, then we have luck because then we can access the administrative section of this website, which we should never be able to do. So that's basically a little bit of a word about what XXE is. On the next chapters, we're going to talk a little bit about the attack factors. So I will see you there, amazing hacker. Thank you very much for your attention.